Now hand over the golem flute. It's mine. Yuki, why are you doing this? Because it's rightfully mine. No, ours. That day, we were on the verge of finally getting our hands on it. What do you mean? Just hand it over. Because, yeah, I'm sorry, but the second she does that, and there, there are going to be some further explanations for her actions here, but stealing it from Fubile is one thing. She's stealing it from another thief. I could personally at least justify that. But stealing it from a hungry kid and his dog? No. Okay, now that I have the flute, I just need to summon the golem. Just you wait and see, bro. Yuki! What are you doing here, Atsuma? No, what are you doing? Give the flute back. Why did you take it? I told you. I'm going to be the number one golem hunter in the world. I'm going to hunt and hunt and hunt golems until there are none left. That's all I have. I promised my bro. Your brother? Oh, from the photo? What's it to you? I'm hunting golems for him. Don't tell me. The guy in the photo is forcing you to do this? Bring him to me. I'll punch his lights out. I wish I could. What? He's dead, you moron. Eh? Dead. Because I killed him. My brother is here. Buried somewhere in all this junk. What do you mean? I don't remember my parents at all. Me and my brother eked out a living selling junk. It was tough, but so long as we were together, we were fine. Then, one day, it had been raining. Bro told me not to go out because it was slippery. But, but I wanted the golem flute. I climbed Junk Mountain. Bro tried to stop me, but I didn't listen to him. Suddenly, the junk collapsed. Bro dived to save me. And... he died? If only I'd had more money. If we'd dug him out and got a medical treatment, we might have saved him. But Flabile wanted money before he'd help me. Everyone else was the same. Everyone demanded money. If you don't have money, you're nothing. And so, he died. I let him die. But not on purpose. It was an accident. No. I killed him. I squashed him. Don't you get it? I dug and dug. I dug until my fingers bled. I never even got close. That's how far down he was. How much junk there was. I was just pushing him further down. It's my fault. That's why I had to take on his dream. Dream? Yeah. All the boys in this town dream of the same thing. Of finding a golem no one has ever seen. And becoming the number one golem hunter in the world. And I killed my brother. I killed his dream too. So it's up to me now to be number one. I have to live his dream. And to do that, I'll do anything. No matter how dirty. So, don't get me wrong. What happened to Yuki and her brother was very tragic and understandably very traumatizing. And Yuki is also still pretty young and was even younger when that happened. So some of these reactions and her decisions, some of it's understandable. But her obsession with this has led her 
to become just like the people who didn't help her back then, to become just like Fubile. And I... I kind of wish that there were more conversations handling this afterwards. I think there is still going to be some before this wraps up, but it could have done with a bit more, in my opinion. Yuki, I'm not really sure, but is this the kind of thing that the number one golem hunter would do? What? I mean, someone who does anything to make money, is that what being number one means? That's all I'm asking. Because that'd be kind of stupid. What? Take that back, Atsuma. Take it back! Right now! No, I won't. Listen to me, Yuki. No! Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm going to become the number one golem hunter in the world! I'm going to get those legendary golems. You'll see! Wait, Yuki! Atsuma, after her. She's heading for the Field of White Flowers. Okay. Bro, I'm alone again. But still, I've got my dream. So long as I have my dream. Our dream. I'll be fine. Watch me now. As I score the legendary golem. summoned me. That's right! I'm going to defeat you and make you mine. Very well. Then show me your power. I'll take you down in a flash! And we'd better get there quick if we want to have anything left of Yuki to save. There's the Sphinx.
Okay, so she has a pretty nasty HP drain that will also inflict gravity, although only Mermaid will be affected by the gravity. She also has an Earth Strike, but luckily none of us are Wind type, so as long as I keep everybody healed up, they should be okay. Also gonna put a I'd like to put a barrier on mermaid but let's see I need to do that now because otherwise the barrier would overwrite the high charge that I want Otsuma to do and he needs to be there before Kareen does the cure or it wouldn't hit him Okay, so yeah, 244, that will let Mermaid survive a couple of hits, which is a lot easier to manage. Well, our EX meter is at max, so probably Stun Bead Flare, especially since it can combo if Kareen also attacks it. I don't know if it's vulnerable to poison, but let's find out, shall we? And Slash will do better than High Earth Shake because the Sphinx is Earth type. And Mermaid should be fine if she just uses HP Drain. Fire! Reduce them to ash! Take pleasure. Okay, not vulnerable to poison, but still took a fair bit of damage from the Stun Beat Flare combo. And then healed a decent chunk of it back. Lovely. Rygar's still looking pretty good. So, Kareen, heal these two and yourself. Mermaid's going to keep draining HP from the, from the Sphinx. And Otsuma's just going to punch it. I'd like to save the EX to see if we could, could do another stun beat flare. However, Rygar's doing doing just fine on health, so I'm gonna have him switch to high power XL. I would rather him be hitting harder than have the damage reduction. And these two should still be fine for another round of just draining health instead of one of them having to just heal. And now they're looking pretty rough, so they're going to have to heal. Let's see if Kareen heals. That gives everyone a little over 300 health. That should do just fine. So Mermaid should be good for another HP drain, although I'm going to have to have her stand by soon because she's running low on Aether. And okay, now it's draining health from us to try to stay up. And how much health, how much exactly does it do with her strike? Okay. Yeah, Kareen will be fine as long as she drains HP. That'll give her enough to survive it if it does another earth strike. Thank you. 
And yeah, that's why I'm having Kareen continue to just drain health from it, even though her Mega Aqua Mist would, or Poison Mist, sorry, I haven't switched her to Mega Aqua Mist yet, even though Poison Mist would do more damage, even without the poison, I'm having her continue to do the HP drain because it's giving her just enough health to be able to keep attacking more often without having to stop to heal. And that thing's running out of ether, so it wasn't able to even do anything last round. So this should be more than enough to take it out. Take this. Die. My training continues. Did quite a number on our VP though. Definitely gonna have to go back to that rest point in Junk City. Success! You're more trouble than you're worth sometimes, you know that? Why'd you have to save me, huh? I could have done it alone. No, you really couldn't have. That thing was honestly pretty tough. I don't know if any character we have could have soloed it. Do it alone? You were about to get killed alone. Thank you, Atsuma. Shut up! I didn't need your help. Yes, you did. You didn't, huh? Well... Your definition of helping on this trip is all about picking fights, isn't it? Oh, uh, shut it! Unlike you, I can manage on my own. I'm going to be the number one golem hunter in the world, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to achieve that. I don't quite understand. Is the number one golem hunter the one who makes the most money or the one who collects the most golems? That's, well... Just what was your brother's dream? I guess to become the kind of golem hunter that everyone and the world respects. Do you really think that someone who steals from children to get more golems is going to earn worldwide respect? Thank you, Atsuma. Do you think your brother would want you to do things like that? Then what should I be doing? How can I make up for what I did? Just be happy. Huh? He saved you with his life, right? Do you think he'd want to see you suffering after making that sacrifice for you? If you want to make it up to him, be happy. I'm... I'm allowed to be happy? Of course you are. You don't think he'd be angry with me? If he is, I'll go up there and punch his lights out. <laughs> Come on, let's go back. Okay. Hey, kid. Huh? Oh, good, you're safe. Yeah. Yuki, come on. Uh, y yeah. Okay. Look, I'm sorry. Here, you can have this back. I don't want it. What? It belongs to you and your brother, right? I don't want to be haunted by his ghost or anything. You keep it. But... I don't want it. Don't need it. Take it. Come on, Sandy. He's gone. What should I do now, Atsuma? Keep it. Why not? But... It's what he said he wants. That's right. Which makes him far more mature than you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, okay then. If it'll keep everyone happy, I'll keep it. <laughs> right, that settles that. Now on to Kyoto City. And that's about as much resolution as you ever get for Yuki's arc here. And she still talks about money a lot throughout the game. That's not really going to change. As I said, I have pretty mixed feelings on this resolution because she did decide to go and steal from that kid initially because he wasn't just giving her the flu the first time we saw them. So 
honestly, I kind of wish there were a few more conversations about that or some options to pick from, but here we are. It's, it's about all we can do with it. Indeed. Uh, I need to make a quick stop. I won't be long. We'll wait for you here. Okay, I'll be right back. Bro, I'm going with Atsuma, okay? I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to become the number one golem hunter. Not for your sake, but for mine. Just you wait and see, okay? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I didn't think you'd noticed me. Of course I did. Who do you think I am? A number one golem hunter, of course. You got it. Anyway, look, take this, okay? A seed? It's from those white flower plumes. I was going to plant it on my father's grave, but I'm giving it to you. Well, well. That's very thoughtful, especially coming from you, Karine. I'll pretend you meant that as a compliment. Well, Yuki is finally pronouncing your name right more often than not, so progress? You. Sorry. What? You two were together? By coincidence only. I was worried. You seem to take so long doing whatever it is girls do on the toilet. And after honestly some pretty good lines, now we have Atsuma being an idiot again. We're back to the status quo, everybody. Well, Atsuma, that's a little inappropriate, don't you think? Very you'd say to a lady hey you two seem to be getting along awfully well all of a sudden two against one Atsuma so it seems what are you wasting time here for kind of wonder if he's just been hanging around that weird structure this whole time keeping an eye on things you don't have time for all this banter hey shut it we're not wasting any time, okay? I thought you were all disappointed with me anyway. That we'd never meet again. Ah, but I heard you are going to learn a secret art. So I thought you must have tidied up your act a little. It seems I was mistaken. Quit complaining, okay? I'm gonna save Toya, don't you worry about that. Very well. Then let me give you some information. Oh yeah? Listen up. Recently, the Queen of Ice has been sighted around Kyoto City. Oh, lovely. What? How do you know about that? Are my ways mysterious to you? That's because I am the mystery man. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that hurt a little. Oh boy. What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing? You're so frustrating. <clears throat> anyway, next is Kyoto City. I'll be watching you. Farewell. Hey. And off he goes again. Honestly, he's more adept at just disappearing than even Batman. At least Batman tends to do that in dark places. He's just managing it in broad daylight. Just who is that guy? Think about it, though. He was right when he said the Emperor of Fire would appear in London. It's reasonable to assume that the Queen of Ice may appear in Kyoto. Indeed. We won't know anything unless we go there. You can learn this secret art at the same time, right? As representative of London City, I really should greet the Shogun of Kyoto, too. Okay, then to Kyoto City it is. Then we need to head for the Western Desert. Okay, so we've got everyone back in the party. And for anyone who was worried, yes, I did go back to the VP point. I noticed that people were running pretty low. Did some shopping, nothing real major there. We still need money and gems before we can do most things, like synthesizing new weapons and whatnot. So we're going to just head on to Kyoto City as we are. Now, there is actually like some side stuff in this desert. Like if you pull up the map here, you can see quite a few different places you can go into. 
However, a lot of it you can't really do yet. Like one of the three pillar golems is hanging out in one of these ruins. I forget exactly which one, but he's here somewhere. The problem is we can't fight him until we have a weapon of the gods and we don't have that yet. So I'm not gonna bother poking around here too much until we've reached that point in the story and then we'll double back. So as you can see, we're also finally starting to get, this is the first fast travel point we've unlocked. So if we use this, it'll take us back outside the uh, gate to London city. Okay, I was gonna ask what that was about. Yep, so that's the first one you unlock. So it'll save you some backtracking, like when we eventually need to go back for the two holy beast golems that are back in that direction. But I don't know if we could quite take them down yet. Uh, I think we would be best off completing the most of Kyoto, most of the stuff you have to do there, and then we'll start doing a lot of this other stuff. So for now, we're just going to beeline to Kyoto City and we'll do a lot of the out optional stuff here in this desert area after all of that. I get what you're getting at now when you said the desert areas reminded you of Kenshi. Yeah, very much so with the weird ruins and all that. Eh, might as well fight that golem since it's so close to the path we need to go. Trust me, we'll go through this area a lot more thoroughly later. Floating head and floating hands. Yep. Reminds me of a couple of Zelda bosses, actually. Yeah. So it is just an extremely tanky Earth-type golem that deals a lot of heavy neutral damage. In fact, Yuki could be one shot by one of those attacks. So that's gonna be real fun for her. See if it's vulnerable to poison. I'm gonna put Yuki here. I would like to move her further back, but I'm gonna put her here so that Rygar can get a barrier on her, which will hopefully be enough so that she's not getting one shot by stuff. And I'll assume it's just going to run up and charge. Okay, it is vulnerable to poison. That will help. Yep, that was just enough to keep Yuki in this. And now everyone is going to stand in front of her because since this thing deals direct damage, it means we can use cover. 
which will cut the damage in half. So I'm going to try to keep her and Kareen covered by Rygar and Atsuma. And Kareen is going to heal them. Okay, that kept them up, but some of the teams looking a little bit rough now. Okay, Yuki, you're gonna go here. Rygar, you're going to back up and just use Slash. Atsuma, you can stay up there and use High Flare Rush. Kareen, you're gonna get in the middle of everyone and heal everybody, and hopefully that's enough. Take this. Fire. Yeah. Healing power. I'm alive again. Thanks. Okay, we need to do 756 damage if we want to put this thing out, which stun beat flare would do, so I may just use that, but. Let's see, high arrow shot will do about 300 because it gets doubled because of the elemental difference. Rygar could do another 150. So we're at roughly 450 right now. So we need to do another 300. Yeah, okay, Atsuma more or less covers that. And just to be safe, Kareen will do poison mist and that should be more than enough damage even if there are no combos or anything. Yep, he's done. Yeah, Level that, ups. that was actually a little bit tricky because that thing was doing such heavy damage. But we managed it. Yep, Kareen and her healing. And also Rygar's barrier was pretty yeah. instrumental because otherwise Yuki would have just been one shot. Yep. This is not a game where you can ignore status effects and healing and just mash the attack. Yeah, no, that does not work unless you ridiculously over level and even that requires you to spend SP and upgrade your character. So even that requires some amount of strategy. And now, this one that's a common now. Yeah, this one is a lot less powerful than the one we just fought though. It still hits like a truck, but it doesn't have nearly as much health. Okay, there's one of these that we can fight. It looks like a weird tank thing. Supposedly, it's a basilisk. Okay, I, I if, honestly, on the battlefield, it looks a lot clearer. Oh. And really, really powerful earth attacks. I don't think anything I do will be keeping Yuki in this. Because that would be doing like over 800 damage to her. And even with the barrier, it would be doing over 600. So you've gotten and to the... they're ranged, so we can't even cover her. So yeah, she she gets one move. <laughs> you've gotten to the part of the game that's kind of actually scary and hard. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna have to, I might have to put a flashing image warning on this because I think I'm gonna have to use Moon Trigger. Oh dear. Honestly, I wouldn't mind using Stun Beat Flare with it. That thing is kind of worrying me, but I want to do high charge first. I really hope this thing's vulnerable to poison, but I doubt it. Okay, Moon Trigger is done. I mean, I know some of these other moves are flashy too, but Moon Trigger in particular. And Yuki is out. And Kareen's gonna need to heal. So... Rygar, just 
start slashing away and being awesome because you're gonna have to carry us through a good chunk of this. Okay, managed to put a pretty significant dent in the basilisk health of that one, so we should be able to just take it out now, although it took our entire EX meter. And for anyone curious, in the run that I did as a kid that was an accidental challenge run with no skill points, um, I was still going at this point. I made it past this. And yes, I fought those golems. So Don't have how much money. did you have to retry? Oh, God, so many times. And my main team because I did not like these characters very much. I like I like them a bit more now, although my favorite by a mile, my favorites are Atsuma and Rygar by a fair bit. Um, but the team that I mostly used was Saber Tiger, Sasquatch, and Mermaid. Those were the ones that I mostly used. I'm surprised it didn't involve TM Tops. I liked TM Tops a lot and I would use them wherever I could, but um, at this point in the game, especially in this area with all the Earth Golems, he kind of just gets outclassed. Are these Golems or just people with machine guns? Golems, apparently. My training continues. Oh great, now Rygar is staring off into the middle distance. Anyone here that doesn't have a tragic backstory? No. Nope. So yeah, we have made it through the desert and we are now in the Kyoto region, which as you can see went from absolutely barren and lifeless to covered in water and greenery pretty much immediately. But given that the desert is kind of artificial, like it was because of a battle or a lot of battles potentially. I think I'm willing to forgive that. And Yuki seems to think that everything is gold in Kyoto City. We need to head east at the turn up ahead. And we'll come to Kyoto City. Watch out! Well, what's wrong, Rygar? There, Atsuma. <clears throat> a woman? And she just wrecked those ninjas. Yep. More of them. Come then, let your lives fall across my blade. Hey, what are you doing? What do you mean? We're going to help her, of course. Come I'm not sure she needs the help, but okay. Uh, as you say, let us go. I'm not sure if that was the fight we're supposed to be in or just a random encounter. It's a random encounter. 
lovely timing Way game. to break up the pacing of the scripted segments. <laughs> I'll fix it in editing. Oh, dear. Nice of them to wait on us to finish that. You must die for the sake of our clan. You fool. You think you can best me. You are outnumbered. You really think you can defeat all of us? Stop! Yes, because more ninjas equal weaker. Cowards! Girl, stay out of this. I think it's a little too light for that. All who obstruct our path shall be killed that is the law of the shinobi law shinobi big words that'll mean squat when you're flat on your backs come on let's mop up these clowns yeah that's something i've noticed more ninjas equal each individual ninja is weaker yeah pretty much every time especially when they're dumb enough to just charge at you while screaming instead of you know striking from stealth there went Yuki. Poor Yuki. This this segment of the game doesn't seem to be very good for her. Okay, so they can always combo. Yep, which actually makes them quite dangerous. Well, also, remember them. when I talked about that one skill, Spoil Sport, that there's only one golem that has it that I can use? Well... All of these guys have it. So when you take them out, they automatically retaliate with this attack before they die. So that's something you have to watch out for, too. Guys, come on. Okay, so Rygar will take this one out. He'll blow up, which will do 150 damage, but Atsuma will still be in, which frees him up to take this one out, and then he'll blow up and well, Atsuma will be out, but we'll oh, someone will be up. We'll be fine. Because Otsuma struck the last blow, but then got taken out. The camera's just panning around and collapsed on the ground. This is, this oh, is gold. Oh, I love this. <laughs> a, a complete with the damn it. <laughs> just comedy gold. And, that takes care of and he's back. He's back. Green got him up. Thank you for your assistance. I am a humble servant of the Shogun of Kyoto. My name is Sayaka. Many thanks again for aiding me in my... Huh? Huh? Ra... Rygar. So she has history of Rygar. Sayaka. Why... Why are you here? Sayaka? You know Rygar? Are you friends or something? Or something. That is... We are in... In... That is, I am his fia... Fian... And Fian? What? You see, Rygar and I are to be married. Well then. <gasps> no way! What a twist. You mean like married? That's insane! This is Rygar we're talking about. Huh. Is that wow. such a strange thought that I might be engaged? No, but it is strange that you live on opposite sides of the world and you've never mentioned her. But Rygar? Rygar? Rygar Rygar? Yes, Rygar. I mean... Neither of these are good options. Yeah, you... No. Wow, uh, Atsuma, you're gonna just shove your entire leg down your mouth, so I'm gonna go with the one that's only going to possibly irritate Rygar or maybe just be laughed off as a joke, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to go for the one that also ticks off Kareen. Yeah. 
I mean, I thought that, you know, the women didn't interest you. Really? What does that mean? Well, you don't pay them much attention. Keep, just keep digging, Atsuma. Just keep digging the hole. A father figure to me, but sometimes, you know, when you look at me... Oh, this got worse. I see a fire there. Well then! I have so many regrets. Or maybe some moisture around the eyes, perhaps. I should have just pissed off Kareen. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that was quite common among knights. You know. Yuki, you're not helping. Together. Really? Rygar? I don't know what he's talking about. I'm straight as an arrow, my lady. Oh, don't worry about it, Rygar. I'm not bothered either way. I mean, neither am I. With it. But you're all still picking on him. Love is free, Rygar. Love is free. My lady, please. Stop mocking me. Hey, you don't have to get so angry. I'm just joking. Yeah, the other option My wouldn't make sense because it doesn't seem like they got romantic energy. Yeah, no, you, the, neither option is great there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has romantic energy with Kareen. No. Ah, my apologies. This is Lady Kareen, Princess of London City. Oh, my. Please, forgive my impertinence. Oh, no need for such formalities. But I was so rude to you. Ignorance is no excuse. Don't worry about it. No harm done. Yes, let's just forget about it, okay? <laughs> excuse me? No harm done, certainly. But you two don't get to say it, okay? So tell us, Sayaka. Who were those ninja? Why did they attack you? I have no idea. Ninja are servants of Kyoto City, as I am. I would like to believe that this attack was some kind of mistake. It certainly didn't look like a mistake, did it? One thing. Who is this boy? The princess's personal valet, perhaps? <laughs> hey! You hear that, valet? Well, if you're my valet, then I demand a bit more obedience. Atsuma, kneel before me! Scrub my boots! Whoa! Calm down there. I'm not anyone's valet. So you're not in her service? Of course not! So, you are simply traveling together for some reason. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoken. We're just traveling companions, okay? Comrades, if you like. When I said I had something to do in Kyoto City, well, these guys just all kind of came along. Hey, you make us sound like stray dogs or something. I mean, it is what you did, though. Atsuma is going to learn a secret art. Everyone's giving each other so much shit during these convos. That's right. You can never have too much moral support. Secret art? Yeah, in order to control this right arm of mine. Ugh. And speak of the devil. 